Hello, my name is Brian Rocks, and this uh, will be a rundown of the user interface in uh, Blender. I will uh, go over the default layout uh, as it is first, and then uh, show how you can resize your windows, split the windows, and uh, basically customize the uh, interface for however you like. Uh, first up, you have the uh, 3D window here. Uh, it consists of a few parts. Um, on the left, you have uh, your tools panel, which allows you to, you know, basic manipulation of your objects here, a bunch of other options as well. Um, on the right hand side, you have a properties panel, which you can't see because it is uh, minimized at the moment. Uh, if you click on this little plus sign here, that will open up the panel. And that gives you specific, uh, you know, numerical entrances for uh, location, rotation, scale and a host of other options here which we won't go over at the moment um, now this both of these panels you can uh, slide closed and then just click the uh, plus sign to open them up and uh, most of the windows in blender work this way if uh, there's a tab available it will be there um, you can also use a shortcut key uh, the letter T will open and close and your uh, tools panel and uh, N will uh, toggle the uh, properties panel over here and on the uh, bottom bottom bar you have other controls uh, you have a menu system here uh, which is dependent on whatever mode you happen to be in so in object mode you have all your object options uh, say so edit mode same thing just mesh options uh, same goes with all the rest, sculpt mode, vertex paint, texture paint, um, the menus just uh, change to give you all the options for that mode. Um, and on, there's a texturing settings, uh, pivot point, uh, your object controls, uh, layer controls, and uh, there's a snap and also other modeling control here. Uh, and the main component of this bar that is on all the windows uh, is this selection here. Uh, this will let you change the window to whichever you need. Um, you know, if you're working on, on, say, some texturing, you can go into the UV image editor. Um, you know, animation, you can make a timeline. Um, but the 3D view is your main workspace here. Um, on the bottom is the timeline window, the one I just actually showed up top here. Um, on, on the right over here is, let me open this up a little bit, is the outliner, which outlines everything uh, in your scene here. It also allows you to select you know, any object you have listed. And beneath, beneath that is a uh, properties window. Um, as you see, where's this? There it is, the properties window, uh, which gives you properties of the whole scene uh, and the objects in, within it as well. Now, um, any of these windows you can resize to however you like. Um, gives you a lot of control here. Um, but you also would want to uh, split windows, say, if you want more than one. Uh, more than one uh, 3D view here. Let me close this out. Uh, in the corner of a lot of these windows is a hash, some hash marks in the corner. Hard to see usually, um, but if you uh, click and drag on that, uh, in whichever direction you want to open the window in. Uh, so I just clicked and dragged to the left, and that opened up this window. It makes a, a copy of uh, whichever window you already have open so you see the object tools panel here is open as well um, if you click and drag and just whoops click and drag pull it down you know you can have a window there uh, and you can have windows here and again you can change all of these um, all of these uh, views to suit your needs so if you want a front view um, and uh, and like say a top view and you're working in this window you have uh, all the control you know when you it just makes it a lot easier to organize your uh, 
workspace when you, you get a lot of stuff going on and you need to see different views at the same time. Uh, and you can also change these windows just like the other one. There's the little tab here that opens up your menu. So if you want, you know, the texturing editor here, uh, you want um, user preferences maybe, you know, whatever it is. Um, you can just cu customize it however you like. Very, very flexible. Um, and oops, I should show you how to close these too. Um, how to collapse these windows if you say you want to move, collapse this out here. You can join the area. Ooh, that didn't work here. Do this here. Um, if you right click on the uh, seam for the windows, uh, you have the options to split or join. Uh, if you click on join, it will give you an arrow which will show you uh, which window will be collapsed onto which. So if I want to uh, keep this top one, I will collapse it down. And now see, when you got a window split like this, it's a little weird. You have to join these first, and then if you want to collapse that, same thing. You just right click on the seam and then pick join, and you can you know have the one have the one window back and it's very very simple very customizable it can get pretty messy too if you've got a lot of windows open but I usually uh, will split these windows up how I want for whatever I'm working on and then I'll save the uh, uh, user settings just click save user settings and it will save um, your setup so if you have you know your windows split like so, um, and then you hit, you know, you save user settings, it will save that and it will open up just as it is, um, which just makes it a little quicker so you don't have to set it up every time that you are uh, opening a project up. Um, that is about it for um, the user interface. Um, actually, you know, let me go over this uh, top bar here. Um, this top bar uh, is uh, info selection it has your file menu um, your object add, adding objects your render settings uh, a help button which you can <coughs> pull up the uh, excuse me <coughs> pull up the blender wiki there when blender website and uh, all the resources available um, which are a great help uh, there's also a setting here for um, say uh, like a default um, layouts so as you see now, there's the default setting here, which I'll click on that. And that's the same thing I got here because I've already tweaked with it. Uh, if I go to, like, say, the animation, it um, gives you a, a, a default, like, animation setup, which is, is useful, and you can tweak it from, from there. Same, you know, compositing gives you your render window, texturing. Um, yeah, and this just, just gives you a good... A good basic uh, starting point if you need to, you know, if you're working on say the, a, a, a game, uh, you need your game set up and you have all the options here, but you know, you're going to tweak it to your liking anyway. Um, let me set back default here. Uh, that's about it then for uh, the interface and uh, thanks for watching.